on January 28, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded just 73 seconds after launch, killing all seven astronauts on board. And millions of people, including school children, watched the disaster live on television. Before we continue, would you mind liking this video and subscribing to our channel? Now let's discover what went wrong on that tragic morning. The Challenger mission was special because it included Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher selected from 11,000 applicants to become the first civilian in space. NASA promoted this as the Teacher in Space mission to inspire students across America. On launch day, the temperature at Kennedy Space Center was unusually cold, just 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Engineers from Morton Theoko, the company that built the rocket boosters, warned NASA that the rubber O-rings sealing the boosters might fail in cold weather. NASA managers dismissed these warnings, claiming there wasn't enough evidence to delay the launch. The shuttle had already been postponed six times, and they faced enormous pressure to proceed. This decision would prove fatal. At 11.38 a.m., Challenger lifted off from launch pad 39B. Millions watched live on television, especially school children eager to see their teacher fly into space. Everything appeared normal as the shuttle climbed into the clear blue sky. But just 58 seconds after launch, a small flame appeared on the right solid rocket booster. The cold temperature had caused an O-ring to fail, allowing hot gases to escape and burn through the external fuel tank. At 73 seconds, the flame breached the main fuel tank. The liquid hydrogen and oxygen ignited in a massive fireball that completely engulfed the shuttle. The explosion was so violent it could be seen for miles. Here's the most heartbreaking detail. The crew cabin remained intact after the explosion. Evidence suggests several astronauts survived the initial blast and were conscious during the two-minute fall back to Earth before the cabin hit the ocean at 200 miles per hour. President Reagan was scheduled to give the State of the Union address that evening, but postponed it. Instead, he delivered one of the most memorable speeches in American history, honoring the crew and telling the nation we will never forget them. The seven crew members, Francis Scobie, Michael Smith, Ronald McNair, Ellison Onizuka, Judith Resnick, Gregory Jarvis, and Krista McAuliffe, became symbols of courage and exploration. Their families watched the explosion live from the viewing area. The Rogers Commission investigation revealed that NASA management had ignored multiple safety warnings about the O-rings. Engineers had raised concerns for years, but organizational pressure to maintain launch schedules over road safety protocols. The disaster grounded the entire shuttle program for 32 months, while NASA redesigned the solid rocket boosters and improved safety procedures. The Challenger accident fundamentally changed how NASA approached risk management. Krista McAuliffe's lesson from space was never delivered, but her legacy inspired millions to pursue careers in science and education. Her dream of teaching from space touched more lives through her sacrifice than she could have imagined. That's your ultimate history knowledge bomb. 